Today, I want to show you how you can set up OneSignal remote push notifications inside of your lovable mobile application using the Despia NPM package. It's super simple, so let me show you how you can add those. So first of all, on lovable.despia.com, we have the documentation with the example lovable prompt and how to implement this. So we'll need to reference that a little bit later. Now, first of all, we need to make sure that we have one signal set up. You can go to one signal.com and create an account. You will need to then create a new application project, link it with your Apple developer account. It's super simple. They walk you through the whole setup and with your Google Firebase account as well. So you can do Firebase cloud notifications and Apple push notifications, right? You set those both up. And once you have them set up, like I already have, you'll be able to then go into your app settings and you'll be able to go to keys and IDs. And now you have the one signal app ID key. You need to copy that and you want to go to the Despia dashboard. Now, Despia essentially is the bridge between your lovable application and the native device capabilities, allowing you to actually use the native one signal SDK for native remote push notifications. So what you need to do is you need to go to the one signal integration section and dump your project ID like I already have inside of here. Once you have it added inside of the Despia dashboard, you want to then rebuild your iOS and Android application so you can test it on your actual device. That's it. Now, I already have that and I already have the application on my device. So that's all I need to do. So now what I got to do is I got to copy the prompt and bring this into Lovable. The prompt is add push notification functionality to send targeted messages to users using the Despia SDK from and then it has the link to the NPM package. First, install the package, NPM install Despia native, then import it, import Despia from Despia native. After that, simply access the one signal player ID via despia.one signal player ID. Now here are the important setup requirements. Create a one signal account and configure your app. We already have done that. Set up iOS, Apple push key and Android Firebase configuration in one signal. We already have that. And then the important thing is you need to make sure that when you set those things up, that you use native iOS and native Android, like I showed you before, right? You need to click on the native icons um, because you can select React Native, you can select other frameworks. Despia actually is a native app. So you have to select that you're using the native system UI. Perfect. Or OS. Perfect. And then we're just going to add this to the project, which we already have. Now, it does require a backend because one signal allows you to do remote push notifications. And this is very interesting because with this first part here, you are going to get the one signal player ID. Meaning every time your application is opened, every time your application is opened, um, you know, as a first new session, meaning it was just installed, your device automatically gets, thanks to the one signal SDK, a player ID assigned to it. And you can access that player ID using despia.one signal player ID. And that will be the ID. Now, you need to use this player ID on your backend if you want to send a push notification from your backend to your users and device remotely. You can do them in bulk through the one signal dashboard if you want, or you can go into one signal and you can, um, you know, you can get the API key and you can set it up with the code below here. So your backend can just run the one signal API by doing version one notifications and including your one signal app ID and all the player IDs that should get this custom push notification. So with that being said, let's integrate this in Lovable. So I'm just going to copy the prompt here and I'm going to go into Lovable. And I'm going to paste this inside of here and I'm going to say, add a text area showing the player ID and a button to send a remote push notification. Notification. And now I'm going to do following because I just want a client side implementation. Let's say, um, let's just do it 
client side for demo purposes, right? Um, because in this example, I just want to show you the capability to send push notifications remotely to a specific device. So we are just going to run this client side, but in a production environment, you want to run this from your backend. So when certain automations happen, you can send a targeted push notification. And then in this example, I just need to get my API key, which in this example, I'm going to add a new key. I'm going to call that demo. Now, if you create a key just for testing, make sure to use that API key, but never put it on the front end. Always have that securely stored on the server. But in this example, I just wanted to do it on the front end for demo purposes. And after the demo is over, always delete the key for security reasons. So let's go back to Lovable and let's say use this demo for uh, this demo client side side one signal API key, right? And I'm going to put that API key inside of here. And then I'm going to say, and this app ID and the app ID will be the same for iOS and Android. So if you go to one signal, you will see your app ID inside of here. And that should be the same ID that you have right inside of here in the Despia editor, just like this. So now I'm just going to put this into my lovable prompt. And now I'm going to send that to lovable. And now it's going to make this work inside of our application. So now a few things to note that you want to make sure that are correctly set up is you want to make sure that your one single account is active and that you have set up all the other stuff. But if you came this far to get the app ID, it should be all fine. And then again, I need to emphasize you should run the API call that triggers the remote push notification on your backend, Superbase, whatever you want to use to make it secure. And it should be stored as an environment variable. So now Lovable is working on it. Lovable is saying, I'll add push notification functionality using the Despia SDK with the one single integration you specified. Added push notification functionality with Despia SDK integration displaying one single player ID. So let's take a look at the code. Um, the code is now importing Despia from Despia native. This looks very good to me. Perfect. And then let's take a look at that. We are now getting the player ID from Despia dot one signal player ID. That is also correct. And we're setting that. We're setting the player ID. And then we have well, the player, the, the push notification, and it will then do the API call and it should show that inside of here. So that looks good. Let's try publishing this and then let's also try looking at this application. Okay, it still for some reason has the old application. So let's make sure that we're deploying this correctly. And let's also try refreshing the preview. Okay. Oh, preview is empty for a while. The app encountered an error. Let's show the locks here. Okay, it seems like there was a, a lovable error here, a build error. So let's just have it fix that. And then we'll take a look at that again. And then it should fix that. And then we'll be able to demo this and test this. Let's actually try the preview here. Oh yeah, it does look like the preview is working. So, okay, that seems fine to me. Maybe that was just something temporarily, but we'll just lovable configure everything. And then we'll be able to test this on our application. And the nice thing is when we click on update here with Despia, we have updates over the air, meaning every change that you do inside of Lovable will be immediately updated on your live application after you click on update it. That's why you always want to do it on the published version and not on the preview one, right? So you want to link this version with Despia. So you don't have to wait 10 days for app approval to review critical changes. You can fix important things immediately the moment you figure out that there's something going wrong, which is very important when you're working with AI assisted development. And that is one of the great features that Despia gives you access to the fact that you can just go in there and update something just like this. And it is updated on all your users and devices without any service interruption on your side by waiting 10 days for Apple to finally pick up their pace. But it seems like this is already working. Um, so let's update this and then let's see if the live site works. And if the live site works, we'll give it an attempt to see if it works in the application. Perfect. So 
I have this demo site open inside of here. So let's try opening my native device and let's try opening the native application here. Just like that. Let's wait till that starts. And as you can see in this text field here, we have the one signal player ID inside of here. So let's try if this actually works. Let's click on send test notification. As you can see, a test notification should have been sent. So let's see, is there a push notification coming? And as you can see, there is a push notification coming just like this. So we have set up push notifications inside of our application, just like this. So I can close this and I can send another push notification. And because I'm sharing my screen, obviously, um, I, I won't see them pop up immediately because I'm in a screen sharing here. But as you can see, I can click this a few times, right? And I will get the push notifications sent to my device. Now, always make sure to run it on the back end. That is very critical. But the cool thing is when there's an automation, when there is a webhook, when some event happens on the back end, even while your application is closed, you'll be able to send a push notification to the device. The device will be able to receive it even if it is offline. And then when the user is online, they will be able to see the push notification. So this is a great way to alert and notify your users using native application features. Thanks to the OneSignal SDK that Despia exposes super simple inside of your lovable application. I can't wait to see you in all the other exciting videos that we're going to make on how to connect Despia with Lovable to add amazing native functionalities with real native SDKs inside of your Lovable applications and getting them into the App Store and Google Play Store. I'm super excited for it and see you in the next video. Take care and thank you so much for your interest in Despia.